So quick little update for y'all. I ended up redoing this entire run portion. Um, it was a lot wider than I needed and just uh, wasn't built very sturdy. So I went ahead and cut some of these beans to make it to the width that I wanted. Um, this is where the coop is going to sit. After spending several hours taking apart those pallets that you can see over there, um, I kind of gave up and realized that they were a little uneven. Um, they'd probably be really drafty in the winter. So I ended up going to Toom, a hardware store, and um, I followed a plan online for a coop that I liked and just kind of made it so that it would fit on this part of our um, run here. So I went and had everything cut out. The, this is the back part, this is the front, um, the side walls, doors, um, some more wood here to help frame that. It is now day three that I've been working on this. Yesterday after I got all of the new wood, um, the sun went down shortly after I got home and was able to get everything planned out. The sun now goes down at five o'clock. Um, soon it'll be more like 4.30 and then uh, about four o'clock. So my daylight is, um, I need to put it to good use. Anyways, um, so I've put up this frame here. This is a 101 centimeter. I measured in centimeters because we live in Germany and they're, they follow the metric system. So it was easier for me um, to convert it all at the store. So this comes out to be about three feet here, two feet on this end. I made it two feet tall. The um, roof is gonna be triangle shaped, so it will give it about an extra um, half a foot once it's on top of here uh, for the inside of the coop. But anyways, screwed this base in, this here. Um, about to screw this one on, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the side walls on here. Day four, I didn't get a, d a ton done today. Um, I decided I should probably go work out since I didn't work out yesterday. Um, and then I had to stop and get some more hardware, more supplies for this. Um, but I did get the door on so far today. I attached that on the corners and I just recently put the lock on here. Um, but I made one major mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the door doesn't open because if you can see there's like a metal piece connecting all of this probably so that you could line it up easily um, when you put it together but I probably should have like broke that apart first because now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to unscrew that and redo it live and learn um, this is again my first project I've ever done so um, it rained last night it's been raining the majority of the day so we put this on top just so that um, this wouldn't get flooded um, I got the pieces for the nesting boxes here. I got these cut on an angle like so. Um, so I am going to be putting a board down here at the bottom. Um, these are gonna attach like this. For those of you who do this as a living or as a hobby will probably see that I have made a lot of errors forgive me, um, throughout all, all of this, I've realized that power drills are not my best friend. I stripped quite a few nails during this project and messed up both drill bits. Hopefully my husband will forgive me. Since we live somewhere cold um, and we do not have any type of external outlets um, outside of our house, I decided a good way to try to insulate the coop a little bit would be to add some foam to the roof. So I bought a sheet of foam yesterday at the hardware store. Um, 
about a half an inch thick. I'm gonna place that in the middle of both parts of the roof here and then cover it with cardboard. That way, if for some reason they can reach that, they're not pecking at it and getting foam all over the place. Um, and I'm just gonna staple it to the wood. So it's Friday, Veterans Day, and my husband has off of work today. So he is able to help me on this project. We just installed the nesting box here. Um, we ended up putting some posts underneath to support it. Um, we made the roof. Apparently the guy at the hardware store cut the wood a little shorter than I needed for it to fit perfectly on top. So we added some wood. We're now putting a frame up at the top to prevent um, any of the draft or wind from getting in. Um, and then we're going to attach the hinges onto the door. So I am just about finished with the chicken coop. Um, I've kind of forgot to film a few of the steps. I just got very anxious. Um, I'm actually gonna be picking up my chickens tomorrow. It is uh, Thursday today, I'm gonna be picking them up on Friday. I've been working on this for about a week now. Um, majority, of it, majority of it was done by myself, which I am super proud of because um, I've never done anything like this before. My husband did help me with a few of the steps that would have been almost impossible to do on my own. Um, like the nesting boxes, getting those attached to the back here. I really needed his help um, holding them in place. They are supported by a few um, wooden posts under here, as you can see. I've got the whole thing um, fenced in. I put the roof on here. It's got a piece of the plywood underneath, and then I put some of this on top. Cut, these come in giant sheets. I ended up using two sheets, well, about one and a half, because there's a couple extra pieces left over. Um, so then I just use a box cutter to make this so that no um, water would get in between there where, where it connected. I added some of it on top of the nesting box here too, just because there was a small gap, as you can see right there. And obviously we don't want water getting in that. So I put this on top of there, skirt it down right there so that it opens. It just kind of folds like so when I open it. This is the inside of the two nesting boxes. These are about uh, 12 inches wide, both of them. Um, from what I've read, you need one nesting box for about three chickens. We're having three, um, and I thought I'd give them two. So Marley, you wanna show me how these doors open? Yes. This door here is to be able to get in and out of the run so that I can get in there and, oh, there you go, now pull. Yeah, it's a little ghetto. <laughs> so I can get in there and um, clean out their water okay. bowls and their food. I made this ladder out of um, a piece of, there's my cat, out of a piece of pallet wood and then just some scrap wood I screwed in there. Um, and then I put a fish hook, I think that's what it's called, or fish eye, on here, like so, and one down there so that this piece can just um, be taken off whenever we want to move. All right, well, I can't do that with one hand. Whenever we want to move the uh, chicken coop and run, that can just be detached. Marley, want to show them how the door opens? Yes. So carefully, you're going to pull onto that string, which opens the chicken coop door. Um, there's a blanket. There's a blanket in there because it got wet, so I'm trying and to dry that out. Um, and then I'm going to end up putting a little clip on here so that when the door is open, it can stay open and I'll just have it the um, clip down here clip on another one of these little fish hooks. I found this idea on YouTube actually. Automatic chicken doors are super expensive, um, around a hundred bucks. So um, just kind of made this there and then there's another one up there that it connects to. Um, the second door here, unlock it. I found this branch in the woods by our house and um, I'm letting that kind of dry out a little bit. I'm gonna screw it down into the corner just so it doesn't move. 
Um, I figured they'd like to sleep on that at night. Pretty high ceiling. I put one of these on top of this part of the coop. That way they can actually come out and be in the run and not be getting rained on or snow because it is uh, November, the middle of November, and we are going to start getting cold weather here very soon in Germany. So um, that way they can come out here and enjoy. Plus we'll have this little section under here that is also covered by the coop itself. Um, as you can see, I put wire everywhere so that there is no chance of any critters getting in here. Um, there are fox in this area, so I am trying my best to um, prevent them from getting inside. I've added a couple extra of wooden posts uh, where the chicken wire connected. Um, I used a staple gun. <laughs> She's giving us her own little tutorial over there. <laughs> um, staple gun, the chicken wire into the wood. And that's that. I guess I'll show y'all the rest once I get all of the uh, straw and um, stuff inside there. It is definitely far from perfect, but I am so happy with how it turned out with it being my first project. Um, it took a lot of planning, a lot of researching, um, and I did it. <laughs> I'm going to have little backyard chickens that I cannot wait. <laughs>